In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through my current diet, eight weeks out from Ironman Panama City, Florida. So a full day of eating plus what supplements I use every single day and why I use them. So welcome to the video. But before we get into the video, I just hit a huge milestone. I just completed my final revisions and edits on my manuscript for my book, which is hopefully being published in the next eight weeks, uh, like mid mid-November is what we're shooting for, titled 25 Hours a Day. And if you want to get any more information on the book or follow the progress, I've been documenting a lot of the things on Instagram, uh, adding excerpts from the book or chapter. So be sure to check that out, but I'm super excited. It's been, it's been a work in progress for the last like nine months, and I'm finally done with revisions. Now I just have to record the audio book. Yes. I will link all supplements in the description box below of this video, but for starters, in the morning, we have Strong Greens, which is a superfood green supplement, and then stacked with, I'll do one or two scoops, today I'm going to do one scoop of InFocus, which is an energy nootropic supplement. So I'm going to stack these two together. So here we have our greens, vitamins, minerals, digestive health, and then one scoop of energy right in there as well. Now this combination right here is a powerful one-two punch. So you have, for one, greens, which like I said, vitamins, minerals, digestive health, immune boosting, natural energy. This is your nutrient powerhouse. And then in focus is like your stimulant-based energy. So there's some caffeine in here, tyrosine, ingredients for nootropics, uh, focus, energy, like I said, with stimulants, natural energy, stimulant-based energy, these two together. It's a good start to the morning. So we're gonna do some breakfast tacos this morning. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Now I have Four eggs, four whole eggs cooking on the stove here. I have four slices of bacon that I severely overcooked. It's bad. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to put these together because I do things a little bit different. I put the tacos together with the eggs, the bacon, the cheese, and the tortilla. And then I throw in the oven packed in some aluminum foil because it makes them perfect. You have to do this to your breakfast tacos. I promise you. It, it, it's mind-blowing, life-changing, game-changing, whatever you want to call it. It's next level. And here we are. We have the tin foil. We have the tortilla, which I'm using these tortillas right here that I get at HEB. Love them. And then I have the eggs, bacon, cheese. So that's one, two, three. Now I'm gonna roll them up and throw them in the oven. So good. So good. So we're receiving three different flavors of whey protein right now. And as you can see, whey protein, it takes up a ton of space. So you get tons of pallets when it gets delivered. Between 50 to 80 pallets, it just fills up the warehouse. That's just the, you know, only 120 units can fit. The five pounders can fit on one pallet, so. You order a thousand or two thousand, you're getting tons and tons of them. It still feels like yesterday that Preston and I just moved. Well, it was me, Preston, and Joe at the time. We just moved into our new warehouse, which is our old warehouse. And when we moved in, we had like two, maybe three pallets of inventory. And now we have like, we have a lot of inventory. We have pallets on pallets on pallets of inventory right now. And um, we're adding some new products to the line this year. We're adding three or four new products to the line. 
Uh, in the next eight weeks, we're launching a strong reds, we're launching a multivitamin, we're launching a collagen powder. Uh, we have a few other products in the works that were uh, in R&D right now, and then different variations and flavors of other products as well. So we're, we're doing a lot this year, and protein bars. Like, there's a lot going on, a lot of moving pieces. But our current whey protein flavors, now, if you don't know the secret behind our whey protein, it is an 88% whey, 12% casein blend. The reason we do that is a little bit of casein. It's a very little bit of casein uh, protein powder. It gives you a better consistency and texture and mouthfeel, uh, and it, it bakes better. So it really just like revolutionizes the whey protein product. In two pounders, chocolate peanut butter. We have blueberry muffin, which just restocked today. We have cinnamon roll. And then we brought back for a limited time, mint chocolate chip ice cream. Once this is gone, this is gone forever. And we're replacing it with, which is in production right now, a fruity cereal milk flavored protein powder, which is next level. And then five pounders, we have milk and cookies, vanilla, and a fudge chocolate. So that's the flavors we have on deck right now with more to come. Okay, so meal number two, it's gonna be a pre-workout meal. This is eight ounces of ground beef and about a cup and a half of jasmine rice. I'm gonna throw this in the microwave and then we're gonna add some coconut oil to this. Now coconut oil, is an excellent way to add some calories to your food, get some good fat sources in there, and it makes it taste absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna throw, throw about a tablespoon of coconut oil in this right here, mix that up, and then this stuff right here that I've shown before, love this, cocoa aminos. The flavor is to die for, so I throw this on chicken, I throw it on rice, throw it on meat, Throw that in there. This is gonna be a pre-workout meal about an hour and a half before we train. You know when the shirts are off in the BPN HQ, it means team training time. So Preston and I are about to hit a back workout. So supplements around my workout specifically. We have pre-workout, flight. So this is energy, this is focus, this is endurance. So we got one scoop of flight for the energy. We got dogs right here who, look at these guys. All day, take this all day. On top of flight, we have endo pump, uh, which is just to get a better pump in the gym, move some blood into those muscles that we're training. We'll do one scoop of endo pump. That's a pre-workout cocktail. Mix this up, throw this back real quick. While that's kicking in, what I like to do is mix up my intra workout. So what I use is intra flight. I also use this on all my, uh, my brick workouts on uh, for Ironman prep so far. Like for my long bikes with my brick run, Interflate is aminos, taurine, citrulline malate if the dogs don't flip this table over right now. Carnitine tartrate, agnotine sulfate, and uh, I like to sip on this during my workout. This is what we deal with all day. Hank. Hank is, is 100% the instigator. So those are my work, my supplements around my workout. Hey. So the last movement of today's back workout is uh, low, I'm just like a dumbbell row, essentially, single arm dumbbell row. Even during like Ironman prep, I'm still trying to get in the gym, like I've talked about three or four days a week, just to hit a little bit of upper body, some shoulder, some chest, um, some back. It's really all I'm training right now. Like I'm not training any legs. I haven't, I haven't hit legs in the gym since, oh man, late May because of prep. Um, because six days a week, I'm on my legs. I'm either running, biking, or, or swimming full body, essentially. Um, but like my legs need the time to recover. So coming in and hitting like a leg workout is not practical at all right now. So we're gonna finish off with some, some single arm dumbbell rows. I woke up two days ago after my half Ironman. Or not woke up, but sorry, I finished the half Ironman 
at 194 pounds. I haven't seen 194 pounds on the scale for years, literally years. I started this prep around 215 pounds. So strength is still there. Like it's still there upper body wise. We are on meal number three of the day. So this is some sludge, some protein sludge. We have two scoops of milk and cookies whey. Uh, my personal favorite, and in an honest opinion, the best for sludge recipes. So I just do two scoops of this, a little bit of milk until it's like a pudding-like consistency. Um, you know, so it's not too thick, not too thin. And then I like adding, as you guys probably know by now in my videos, fat free ready whip on top. It tastes like if you ever had dirt pudding as a kid, my mom used to make it all the time. This is what it tastes like. Dirt pudding was like ground up Oreos, cream cheese, whipped cream, and then gummy worms. And it was delicious. Uh, and then on the side here, I have some mango, pineapple, and grapes. And I'm gonna do probably three or four tablespoons of this chocolate hazelnut butter. Um, so ta two tablespoons is a serving. I'll do three or four. So I'll probably get an extra like 360 calories in just, you know, this peanut butter or this almond. Is it peanut butter? It's hazelnut. Hazelnut butter. Some decent amount of calories in this right here. So this is, uh, this is a post-workout and a pre-run meal. All right, we are fueling up go downtown Austin. I got 75 minute run to do tonight for training. And uh, for the question I'm getting a lot, what shorts do I, oh, almost tanked it there. What shorts do I wear for running? Silkies, also known as Ranger panties. You can go on Amazon, you can get them anywhere you want. Just get a bunch of pair of Silkies. They are perfect for running. They're super lightweight, they're super comfortable. They have a little pouch right here. Well, I don't wanna show you too much. There's a little pouch in there where I can throw like my key fob. Silkies or Ranger panties. All right, considering I did my half Ironman two days ago, that run nine miles in one hour, 15 minutes, that's an eight minute, 23 second minute per mile pace. That's what I'm talking about. Legs were heavy, I'll, 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 give, I'll give you that. I talked to Taryn, my coach who runs Team Trainiac before this, and he was like, how are your legs? And I was like, they're great, they're fine. He said, wait till the run. I took like you know, 20 steps into the run, felt them in my legs the entire time. But this was the first run I've done in a long time that probably wasn't over 100 degrees. So that felt amazing. Ran downtown, uh, left around seven, I believe. Now it's, no, I probably left at like 7.30 because it's like 9 p.m. right now. That was beautiful. Nine miles, 8.23. Now when Steph's out of town, this is what dinner typically consists of. So for beverages, Whole Foods has these really good zero calorie uh, drinks I like getting. So I got one of these, and then I have some lo mein, I have some cauliflower, and then this is just like a, a ground beef, tomatoes, peppers, mushrooms kind of combination. So this is dinner. Can I help you? Can I help you? Yeah, this ain't for you. What are you doing? As I got to the salad bar, it was like 9.30, and there was a lady cleaning up everything, tearing it down. So this was the leftovers, and guess what? 
Leftovers, at the end of the night, are still delicious. However, with beef, this beef is spicy. I personally am not a fan of spicy. It's making my nose, my nose run. Mm.